So today we're going to look at osmosis and osmosis is this type of diffusion and it's a type of diffusion that specifically focus, focuses on water. So it's all about the movement of water. So again we've got this movement of water and much like diffusion it's going to move from a high concentration to a low concentration over time and through a partially permeable membrane. So if I have my partially permeable membrane here, again, something like a cell wall in biology, viscous tubing might be a practical that you've done with it, I'm going to have on one side a high concentration of water particles, like so. This might be referred to as a high water potential. And on the other side, I'm going to have a lower concentration of water particles, like so, or a lower water potential. What I might also have is some solutes, substances that are dissolved in my water, like so. So here, I've still got a high concentration of water in comparison to the solutes, where here I've got a lower concentration of water in comparison to my solutes. So this is a more concentrated solution, and this is a more dilute solution. And what's going to happen is my water particles are going to diffuse down the concentration gradient to the more concentrated solution or the solution with the lower um, water potential or water concentration. So they're going to move from an area of high concentration of water to an area of low concentration of water. And what that means is this solution is going to become more dilute. And over time, we'll reach an equilibrium. So when we reach equilibrium, we'll still have our partially permeable membrane. We'll still have the same number of solutes on either side because these are too large to diffuse through our partially permeable membrane. But what you'll find is that you would have an equal amount of water on either side of the um, membrane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see it's equaled out. Now, what's really important to note here is the water doesn't stop moving at this point. It doesn't stop diffusion across but the rate of diffusion is going to be the same in both directions. So the overall concentration on either side is going to remain the same. The amount of water on either side is going to remain the same. The amount of solutes on either side is going to remain the same. So therefore the overall concentration is going to remain in the same. And this is what we mean by the term equilibrium. Now one little thing to note when talking about this in context of an exam is often they'll talk about the concentration of the solutes and not the water. So they might say that the solute, let's say um, sodium chloride, salt water, for example, would have a certain percentage on one side and a certain percentage on the other. So let's say 40% on one side, 60% on the other. And what you would need to do is then work out what the water would be on either side. So in this case, it would be 60% water and 40% water on that side and therefore which direction the water would move which would be from the higher water to the lower water. Quite often in an exam people get this confused because they'll talk about the solute and not the water. Remember whenever we talk about osmosis we are talking about the water so always make sure you're referring to the water in the question. And that's everything you need to know about osmosis.